Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 40 of Firemind. Today, we will first up save some poor old Eurist who tries to pick up that pack of green diamonds. And I promised you a magma splurge. We will have a magma splurge as soon as the miner has arrived. So, apart from that, in the previous episode, we have killed off an ash monstrosity that mimicked the... Uh, divine features of Fukar, but was branched off of a human deity. The dwarves of the Towers of Age were a little bit disconcerted about that, to put it into friendly words. So, let's see, the magma is pouring towards there. And it is just... Ah, I knew the, the diamonds would catch fire eventually. So now we have smoke down here. These diamonds, they will burn for a pretty darn long time, but uh, we can alleviate that problem by uh, putting water on top of it. <laughs> it's just that simple. And it's fun because it is a, a spot where we had something like that already <laughs> a while ago. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. So we're going to have a bucket brigade up there, and we're also going to cover these cavities here with a couple of boulders. The Dwarven Safety Department is acting quick on these risks. Okay, so there's still not much progression here. We do have finally some flooring ready in the barracks, so the Engravers Guild should go forward and do their thing but apart from that as you see here the micma mica block carving is not uh, that fast now it's finally time to pit to put up that slab that one slab that was really really trying its best to not get produced at all so the first obsidian slab in the high temple of ukar lovely all right so far, so good. I didn't continue the construction of, of the pump stack in between the episodes because I feel felt like I, I really didn't want to do more about that. What we are going to do today, though, is we're going to start excavating the reservoir. So this is going to be as large as we can. Basically, this is going to be the uh, total, the basin where we will put magma in. And that magma we will then pump upwards and the uh, really important part about this is that we are ought to well how to put it we should put a a door in front of the intake so no other creatures can seep into the base that would be really bad for us but i can already see that this is one excellent spot for us to take so Uzul's private little project goes places yet again. The miners are being tasked to things that are not about the uh, mines here anymore. But on the other hand, we got to quench a fire here before we can do anything. There we go. So, putting water on top of this will also uh, let the magma go... Uh, go dry quicker so we kill two birds with one stone this way now we can already punch a hole into the ground someplace yeah well we're not reaching any of the places where we could oh we could here so like i said before your dwarves are smart enough to not uh, kill themselves by um, by stepping into magma, so we can safely just uh, smack open another one of these pockets, so we can get past these problems faster. Okay, well, let's see what the jewelers did. Well, I'm looking for lead statuary. Results from the last uh, 
fight there. A lit statue of a hopeless soldier. Yeah. Wonderful. Totally works out as intended. The value of the statues is still not where I want it to be, but, uh, you know. We gotta start somewhere, I guess. Okay. So, the barracks has been fully engraved. Now, that is progress. But we're still really, really slowly fulfilling the, the building tasks down there. I mean, we cannot really change it at all. It is just what it is. A very, very lengthy and uh, painstaking procedure. But, well, we are eventually getting there. We are eventually getting there. The good point is that the magma is already starting to evaporate, as you can see here. And with that, well, one day we'll strike adamantine, my friends. It's just very important that you take it slowly and carefully, as we saw in the last episode, that Ash Abomination was capable of one-shotting one of our most capable dwarves by just kicking her into the head. That was all it took to end the uh, lifelong career of one of ours. So, these guys are really, really bad news. Okay, so, speaking about bad news, I considered lately that I want to start building a little bit more here upstairs too. You know, just a couple of uh, very basic things. I felt like bringing up a wall structure here. Whatever we'll do with that one day, we have rooms available this way, and I do like it that. So I leave open two cavities so we can build ourselves some doors or something like that. And I, I suddenly realized that the uh, onslaught of agitated animals has uh, dimmed down. I just realized that, yeah. So we opened up the magma pocket down there too. Let's open up the water pocket at the same time to have some fun. Or tell you what, we're actually going to take that one. There we go. So that'll uh, spread over the rest of this area here and it'll evaporate eventually. Part of it will seep down here, part of it will seep into the into the actual caverns. It's a pretty safe and lengthy thing. And here goes water. But uh, the water immediately transformed into obsidian, as you see there. Let's do it again, Eurist. Isn't it fun? Let's watch it one more time. That's what happens if water comes into contact with magma. Boom. Every unit of water does have that volatile reaction. I mean, we are right now farming obsidian of sorts. I really hope eventually somebody will quench the burning uh, gemstones. All right, so we're now flooding parts of the uh, of of the of the caverns with magma. I take that as a full-on success. Oh no, I remember that I actually wanted to check back if we had too many beast people in the depths. You see, there's always something I miss. Anyways, I really feel like we're making super good progress. It'll take a while until we have all that magma evaporated, but I felt like we might as well start quickly and early, so we can't get rid of these faster. Okay, let's check back with the city in the dip. So, the dormitory is almost done. Love that. Alright. Looks like currently we're uh, seeing a faster influx of mica blocks than before. However, that comes together. I don't know, but I really don't mind them. And most of the magma on this level already has evaporated. Lovely. Down here, we can watch how things uh, go. Fluid things in, in Dwarf Fortress are just so much fun. It's always for me, at least. 
I love this. Now, yeah, well, just nobody has uh, had the time to fetch a bucket yet, eh? All right. But I do like the fact that we're uh, currently working on, on two levels at once, so to say. So... It's amazing how long it can take to bring one bucket of water down here, though. It's unbelievable to me, even. But, well... So, let's put some beds in here. Oopsie, let's do that via the planet. That's way more fun. Alright. When I started out with, with DF, uh, I really didn't value dormitories enough, in my opinion. So we're going to go for a bit of that. So, that's... That's enough. We'll be putting in statues in between there. It's already way more beds than this thing actually needs, but whatever. I'm fine with that. Okay, so... Let's put some military furniture in here. And let's see, that's five of them. That's five more of them. All right, that'll take a while until we're done on that end, but whatever. We gotta start somewhere. I bet cabinets are also not really available these days, eh? Nah, of course not. We have an entire level of uh, things to do. So, I don't take any humans into my fortress. End of the story. They've already done enough here. So I find it rather amusing that no matter how many holes I poke into that wall, there's just more obsidian being created, obviously. I don't even know how much obsidian we actually already created with that. Probably only that one block. <laughs> Anyways. So. Work down here is going really well. The bone decorator is also... Let's see, lead logemodom. What is... Uh, how's your uh, how's your craft going? He's a master bone carver by now. Very good, very good. So there's quite the industry down here. But I really felt like it was a smarter decision to just let some experts do their task. And uh, accept that things go down a tad bit slower. So, I really want to know now, who is bringing water, and where is that task listed? Oh boy, we do have a handful of tasks, obviously, hey? Fill pond. So, here we go. Sudil something something. No, I don't want to change your name. Oh! 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 Now that explains a ton. So... Yeah. After that task, Sodell Paged Peaks is, is going for her well-deserved uh, retirement. Oh, man. So... She has a uh, spinal injury. Doesn't stop her from pouring out the, the flames down there. You know, that's, that's typical dwarven stubbornness. This also shows very well why it took that darn long for that bucket to be delivered, though. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that does explain a ton. That does explain a ton. But at least we can now watch life and in action how she's going to put out the fire here. I bet she won't be moving that much faster without the bucket either. 
Yeah, well... She's one person I've been following around this, this fort quite a lot. If I remember correctly, her injuries were from the uh, attack from a Cyclops or something like that. And there we go. No more burning gemstones. And here you see her. She she She's not exactly faster without the bucket. So we're clearly going to give her... That was her last task. Okay. I mean, she she saved clearly these uh, valuable gemstones, and I'd say this is a uh, a brilliant retirement task for any dwarf. <laughs> so, anyways, we can now finally excavate here to our full leisure, as we have. Okay, uh, as we have taken care of really every single problem that was here in our way. We can now just pick up what we want here. There we go. That's all safe space here. So let's pick up the diamonds there. So that's a rich bounty for the miners today. Wow. That is just... Also, so much um, obsidian that we're gathering here. It's very, very valuable. So, it bears to me another question, or brings me to another question. Are we going to kill that thing here? I mean, it's a demon. It can one-shot dwarves just like the previous uh, angel is capable. So... It's a risky ordeal, but do we really want to continue our, our tasks while there is a demon right on top of us? These are really difficult questions for us here. But I'd say until we need that area, we're going to leave it like that, as it is safer for us to do it like that. There is just way too much risk involved. So let's see, do we have freaky bars now? Rusted metal bars! Hell yeah, so this, this is divine metal, all right? That's the gear of this monstrosity. Love it. So let's see what we can make out of that. But not right now. I beg the forgiveness. So, we're going to go and remove all the old things that we don't require anymore. I mean, I'd really love to beat the crap out of that thing. It's guarding quite a lot of gemstone as well, but at the same time, I'm not sure which one of my soldiers I should pit against that thing. Who is the best pit against a monster like that? I mean, after... Well, after all that I've seen in the previous situation, the uh, the overwhelming odds of my fighters were just uh, capable of taking over there. But if we take a look at the nourishing handles here, the problem there is... What the... They're actually training that stuff. Alright, if I take a look down at these guys here, they are all legendary, but um, yeah, they're just one squad. I'm afraid that we might get overpowered here, but, well. So, how are we going to go with that? So, I figured another thing, how we could really easy, easy-fy our, our life here something between these lines so let's see if they're able to manage that I might be needing to construct something here but I just realized that we have a really really unnecessarily uh, windy staircase there so that could be really something that is going to improve our infrastructure a tad bit Okay, bracelets for the bracelet addict. That's okay. 
it's just what she needs, you know. Alright, so finally I can assign the zones for my where am I a deep city? I've been waiting for that moment so long now. So this is going to be the the drink zone. And this is going to be the food zone. All right. So we finally got ourselves some some proper dining down here. Come on. It's about time, isn't it? So, let's put some tables down. Tables. That's church tables. Dwarven slang. Yeah. It's just me messing up words. Okay, so I'm going to try to do a little bit of a slightly different design this time. Here it goes. Then we need a chest down here. That'll take a while, obviously. But look at that, chests are being made finally. Hell yeah. Now let's see what the Magma Reservoir resulted in. Oh yeah, look at that. Good stuff. So we cannot uh, carve semi-molten rock. That is uh, just what it is. But we certainly can try to carve whatever we can. So let's do another little construction thing. Construct a bridge. What kind of material do I have listed here? Oh, it's already cured. Brilliant. So bridge goes here. And pump for the magma reservoir goes here. Ah, uh, pump switch. There we go. So we'll be filling that whole pit here with magma just with the flick of one switch, basically. Oh, wait a sec, that is a bad position for it. Needs to be here. because otherwise I'd need to flood my uh, my dudes here. So we can then punch a hole in here and then it uh, flows on in. But uh, let's delete that uh, punch a hole into it job for a while, for a moment. I want to make this reservoir really big. This is also why this uh, squadron here is so important, as they will be also the people that hold back anything that might come out. It, it came out of the reservoir, you know? And they are the ones to do something about that. All right, the dining hall. And the tavern. There we go. This is citizens only. We are not going to go over there and give that free to each and everybody. Nah. This is a very, very dwarven area. So they don't have a dance floor yet uh, visible because there's just too much uh, job assignments on top of it. All right. Oh man, makes me so excited. Finally, this place has seen completion. Felt like it was taking forever to complete this place. So, I'd say we're putting down some statuary here. The Queen, the Duchess. And more Queen, more Duchess. There we go. One into that corner back there then, uh, and I think we're good to go then. Let's just bring up some chairs here. 
I'll be bringing up some uh, last tables down here. It's only two more that we can fit in because I don't want to put a uh, table where it will where where two tables would uh, have to share one chair. That is just not a good idea. Okay, well, let's check back. So this place here is now fully excavated, uh, sort of. A couple of red diamonds here and there, but uh, all in all, got this. So let's see, we have this now going there, and they still have to do here a uh, whoopsie there. So we need to construct ourselves a stair like that and we're going to use uh, the, the material abound and I'll do the same here okay so this should shorten our work trip a bit as they can now uh, go directly over there and we're also going to eliminate that here so yeah that should clearly bring us some improvement. Every little improvement matters. Every little improvement does. So, okay. It looks like these fire snakes are no, uh, no immediately hostile creatures as they are not attacking or, uh, or miners or anything. Good, good. So we can link that up now. And, uh, well, just like that, we can already fill up the reservoir. So, we don't need to have a... Uh, we don't need to have a ramp on this one, as this is going to be the, the spot where, where the magma pump stack is taking in the stuff. So, it's going to be a-okay there. The only thing I don't like here is that I'd personally prefer no, this is wrong if we'd be constructing ourselves a stairwell right there that connects down below and we destroy the other one so we have one that is uh, safe in that regard So probably I'll have to destroy that one here too and reconstruct the other one as well. We'll see about that in a hot minute. It's not that much of importance. What is really much more important to me is to see that there's now dwarves partying down here. There's dwarves eating and living down here. We are starting to brave the depths here, my friends. And uh, yeah, it's a darn good feeling. All right, so that construction is up, so we can now destroy that one. And I'm going to be destroying that one too, but I'm immediately going to be ordering a new stairwell construction at the same time. This will temporarily disable the connection to this area, but it shouldn't be any issue as they have all the building material they require to make a new stairwell. So just very important that I monitor this little uh, Dwarven Darwin Award uh, project here. So, we'll have to put a floorboard on top of that. Otherwise it won't work. But our good friend Zon Summit Paddled is already on it. So, Rigoth Cloister Rises, as you see here, is now entrapped, just like his friend. But uh, luckily, we can just tell them to now build a staircase out of the uh, materials around. And, uh, well... Somebody's getting them out of here now. <clears throat> there we go. So, the advantage of that is now we got a spot where we can now just put a uh, lid on it 
And that's that. So we can we can seal off this place, you know. I just don't want anything crawling in or whatever. But we're I think it's uh yeah. It's time to go, my friends. So wait a sec, I Oh yeah, I need to We need to do this like that. I hope this doesn't kill the buddy. So, leggings and bracelets. So, let's see. The bracelet jobs. Oh, the shell one didn't uh, get through, hey? Good thing that I double checked. So, today we're going to do a little bit of leather leggings. And I'll be cutting it here. So we're going to put down a door here and then I'm going to shaft in diagonally and pray to our mock that we're not gonna get uh, drowned in magma and uh, in the response of that. So to to make that less of a problem if it should happen we're going to put down a door here in between too. Anyways, so leggings, check, bracelets, check. So my good friends, time to put up an outro for today. I appreciate you guys watching. I really, really do. And I hope you had a good time. We are going to continue next episode. Feel free to drop me your comments in between. And also leave a thumbs up on that video as it shows the algorithm that you guys liked it. And that'll help to make more people watch this I hope feel free to drop a subscribe check out the description box there's lots of good links in there among these the playlists for all the forts that I played on this world to my discord server and to my twitch channel where I stream each Sunday evening in the middle European central time zone Apart from that, I want to point towards PayPal, Patreon, and Buy Me A Coffee, which are the best ways and means. You find the links down there, too. And, yeah, check it out. A big thanks to all the supporters, and, of course, thanks a lot for watching this video. I deeply appreciate you having a good time here with me, and I hope you'll be coming for the next one as well. Have a great day, evening, night, whatever is up ahead of you, and see you there. Bye-bye.